The overall goal of this procedure is the well-controlled synthesis of fluorescent statistical linear glycopolymers using reversible addition fragmentation chain transfer, or RAFT, polymerization. This is accomplished by first synthesizing the glycomonomer 2 lactobioamido ethyl methacrylamide, or LAEMA. The second step is to use RAFT polymerization of LAEMA N2 amino ethyl methacrylamide, or AEMA, and N2 hydroxyethyl acrylamide, or HEAA, to synthesize the corresponding low dispersity glycopolymer. Next, the glycopolymer is modified on one of its primary amines by reaction with carboxyfluorescine succidamidyl ester to produce a fluorescinated glycopolymer. The final step is to bind the fluorescinated glycopolymer to lectin coated agarose beads with known carbohydrate binding specificity. Ultimately, fluorescence microscopy is used to analyze the binding of the glycopolymers to the agarose beads, confirming that the glycopolymer possesses the carbohydrate of interest and is labeled with a fluorescent tag. The advantage of raft polymerization over existing methods that employ conventional free radical polymerizations is that the RAF process is a control polymerization technique that minimizes the number of initiator-derived chains. This results in polymers of predetermined molecular weights and very narrow polydispersities. RAF polymerizations can be applied to a defined mixture of monomers for the preparation of specific fluorescent glycopolymers. These glycopolymers have defined binding abilities that can be verified by the use of lectin-coated beads. The efficient preparation of fluorescent glycopolymers should...